I, I couldn't get out from my head. Who am I? Besides yeah. becoming a general manager of a company. Oh. It was very difficult for me until when I got a lot of revelation that, you know, outside of my job, I am actually someone. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications to stay tuned to the latest updates at The Powder Room Talk. Hello, I'm JJ Liu. Welcome to The Powder Room with me and my girlfriends, Viola Mananta and Regina Wijaya. The Powder Room is where we get real. And today, we're going to talk about success is not simply what you do. Joining us is my good friend and someone who is a little sister to me, Angel Peters. Angel started her singing career at the young age of 10 when she won the gold medal in World Choir Games in China. In 2007, she won in singing competitions back home that established her child star status, and by 2011, she was working with big music industry names like David Foster. The now 23-year-old Angel is a budding entrepreneur working on a fashion clothing line called Litty. In 2020, Angel was chosen by Prestige Indonesia as one of 40 under 40 for her contributions. We women, like Angel, wear so many different hats and play so many different roles both professionally and in our private lives, but we often forget to take credit or acknowledge our contributions, especially to the non-professional ones. So let's come on into the powder room and unpack this topic together. Welcome to the powder room, Angel. I think this is my first time actually meeting yeah. Angel. I'm meeting, I think this was our this is our first time. Our, but yeah, form, I our feel formal. like I've seen you somewhere. <laughs> maybe we've met some of the events. I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. her face is so familiar. Or maybe yeah. I've heard her singing. I think in so many events at Apple Canada. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming here yeah, again, meeting with thank us. Thank you so much. We're having absolutely delicious pastries from Chicory today. And look at this beautiful plate from Crystal's home. This coffee is from Kopi Kren, and they have a great selection of iced and hot coffees and nicely roasted Lua coffee beans that we prepared as drip coffee today. So I'm actually really excited that we talk about identity today. <laughs> um, yeah. And that is actually why we have Angel here because Angel she wears so many hats, mm -hmm. I would say. She, um, <laughs> especially now you're even moving into entrepreneurship. And um, I think the first time I met you, it's been a few years ago. And, yeah. and you, you were just uh, working on your singing career. And I just want to, I, I mean, most of our viewers here, I think, know you as a singer. Um, but I bet there's so much more to Angel. And I would just like to know, or maybe you can share with us, who are you? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. how do you see yourself? Ultimate question. Yes. Who are you? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm a second born. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Who's the like second born here? Uh, <laughs> really? No, I'm the, I'm the youngest. So you guys Our can. Baby. I think we're all. You're with yeah. three I babies. I think we have three babies. So you, can, so you can really tell that I'm a very, you know, I'm the most adventurous. Amongst mm. my sisters. So wow. you're the second born out of how many? Out of three. Out of oh, three. Okay. Middle child. I'm a middle child. The middle yeah. child. Well, you're mm -hmm. very um, uh, like middle child? Yeah, anomaly from the typical stereotype of a middle child, right? Yeah. Very yeah, but I'm the most like, you know, both are my sisters are like, I'm a bit different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So three of you are the middle child. Yeah. So three sisters. Yeah, three sisters. Okay. And then. I'm a singer, a full-time singer, and then on the side, I'm also doing this clothing line called Litty, and everyone is yeah. wearing it. Love <laughs> it, love it. It's really, everyone really wearing it today. Probably wearing it. And then, um, yeah, um, aside of singing, I'm also interested in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. because I think that goes like mm -hmm. together with yeah. my mm -hmm. career mm -hmm. as a also singer in 
Indonesia. But I think it's good because um, I like to explore things. I think it's good to mm. do like not just you know fixated with one thing, yeah. but also try new things mm -hmm. and adapt with your situation. Mm. So I think the ability to do like different you know different things yeah. in your life. I think it's 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 good. It's me. So yeah. But most people just you know know me as a singer. Yeah. yeah. I feel like. In the past, I've been shifting roles as well. I mean, I'm already 34. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been a bit of a longer life. Uh, and, yeah. Hello, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, um, I feel like when I noticed that I'm taking on way more roles was when I was um, getting married, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. um, and suddenly, I was a wife, and oh, yeah. um, that was a new role um, that I felt. I feel like, yeah, with every new role, we kind of have to learn it mm. yeah, and, yeah. And, and get comfortable with it and yes. in the beginning it can be quite a shock even though you chose it but it can still be a shock finding out like oh this is actually how, how it really is right I like getting comfort in my I, yeah. I like getting comfort in my discomfort yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah I think that's yeah, a really, yeah, really yeah, good yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. then and then I became a mother and there was another big change Shift. of roles but yeah. now I was like a wife and a mother mm -hmm. and at the same wow. time, I, I really struggled with like you know like these two because it kind of pushed aside all the all the business that I wanted to do. Yeah, I, or I thought I saw myself doing because I had always had the dream of being like a businesswoman and, yeah. I, and I studied and you know and, yeah. I, and in my head I always mm -hmm. thought like this is the goal. Mm -hmm. But then I also wanted to be married and have children and yeah. then having all these roles at the same time was um, for me it was quite a struggle and also. I I, um, I felt really uncomfortable at some times, mm -hmm. and and I felt like they were f the the roles were like overlapping, and then sometimes they were just in the way of each other, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like a bit of a um, of a fight for me. Um, I don't know about about you, but, Regina. But you, if you ask, then um, how long have you been a wife, actually? How long have you been married? How, a bit more than nine years. A bit more than yeah. Yeah. more than yeah. nine and years. And becoming a mom. Um, Mila is a little bit more than eight years old now, yes, yeah, so it's been quite a long time now and I, I started early, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Which, <laughs> yes, relatively early, especially for a European like me, I, I think, um, I don't know who's watching today, but um, <laughs> in my culture, um, if you marry at 25, that's considered really early and having children at 26 is, is an early thing, but here in Indonesia, yes. I feel, yeah. It's almost it expected. Possible? People are getting and married at 21. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, if you, and if you're 30 <laughs> and you haven't married yet, right? Like Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. I feel like when I was, you know, 18 and like some of my friends was like 19 and 20. Like, Were they talking about? Yeah, yeah. When they, I, they wanted to get even, married. Yeah. Even, even me. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. When I was dating someone and, you know, because you start, I feel like you start having like serious relationship yes. when you enter like, 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when you were in high school, you weren't, that was just like oh, mm. a fling. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Mm -hmm. Indonesia, cinta monyet. Cinta right? monyet. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't even care about it. Monkey love. Yeah, and then Monkey you start, yes. and then you start, you start thinking about it. You know, Kaya, what if he ask you to get married with you? And now I'm thinking about mm -hmm. it again, like, oh, that's so long way. <laughs> long way. Yeah, but I think it's, yeah. it's so true what you were saying. For me, when people ask me, who are you? You know, a few years back, I will only say that I'm just a career woman. You know, I was yeah. just mm. a senior manager. Like I, I couldn't get out from my head. Who am I yeah. besides becoming a general manager of a company? Oh. It was very difficult for me until maybe probably two years, two years ago, yeah. when I got a lot of revelation that you know, outside of my job, I am actually someone. You know, oh, sometimes we, so we get we get yes. attached yeah. we get attached to our job. So when people yes. ask you, who are you? Oh, I am a a general manager of this, you know, oh, I am, uh, you know, yeah. uh, owner of this company, oh, I am yeah. a singer, yeah. or maybe, oh, I am a coach, or maybe I am a wife of. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then we, we tend to forget of who we are yeah. because we're so attached with what we do. That, yeah. is, that is the question that hit me a lot two years back. Yeah. Then only after that, um, there was a voice inside me that was saying, Regina, you need to find who mm. you truly are outside of your job. If you are losing your job, then who are you? 
nowadays I really yes I still have a job I'm a general manager I'm also a entrepreneur so I started a lot yeah. of business two years back until now yeah. and then uh, but then you know sometimes you take a new roles I'm also a daughter I yeah. am a sister I'm a friend I am a girlfriend. That's a new role that I'm learning to take. <laughs> it's not. Yes, she's it's she's <laughs> <out. laughs> I'm probably saying I'm a girlfriend or someone. You know, um, that's a different role. But then again, uh, what I've been thinking a lot in the past few years is really if I lose my job, mm -hmm. you know, if I lose the things that I am doing, do I still have myself? Yeah. Yeah, no. and I, I really think that is like, you know, when I'm hearing just now the three of you sharing, it's very evident that um, women have very many different roles. But, you know, it's it sounds very stereotypical, but then we women are just so good at multitasking and flowing even in the overlapping roles mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we forgot to acknowledge the ability to do that. We forget to give ourselves credit mm, for the different roles true. that we play. And um, I guess an important question for us to ask and even for the audience is, you know, do we think that the world influences us in such a way that makes us think mm. that our identity or our value and what we can put on the table is often, like, it's based on your performance. It's based on what you do. You gotta perform on something before mm. you are somebody and before you are someone of value. And when you ask that question, what if I lose my yeah. job tomorrow? Am that's I true. still me? Yeah, and I true. think that, that, that is one thing we often forget that we can be successful in many different roles that we or play. Or on the surface, yeah. probably. We can be successful based on the world's view or mm. based on what people think is successful. But then again, like I said, if I lose it you know, now, yeah. If the crisis came, then the company yes. closed, then mm -hmm. I lost everything. That's what I actually experienced now. Mm -hmm. Like, I stopped singing for months. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. until the end of the year, there will be no normal gigs for me.